Hey guys, my name's Christina, I'm from Arizona. And if you're planning on towing with your Honda CRV, it is required by law to have trailer wiring on your vehicle. So let's jump right into this easy installation. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Most of our installation is gonna be here in the cargo area. Honda did do a fantastic job, job of prepping this vehicle for towing. The tow harness is gonna be back behind the driver's side upper panel. Let's show you guys how to get to that tow harness. We're gonna start by removing all the floor panels. We're gonna start by removing the scruff panel by gently pulling upwards on it. On the driver's side, there's gonna be two rubber fasteners that we will need to take off with the trim panel tool. We're also gonna be taking off the panel covering the handle where we'll have two Phillips screws. So with the hook, we're gonna to need to remove it. You're gonna to wanna to put it in the halfway position, which is gonna expose a white tab on the inside. You're gonna be using a flathead screwdriver to push that white tab in, releasing it from its position. Next, we're gonna be removing this top panel with a trim panel tool. The top trim panel is gonna be held in by four fasteners. You're gonna see one right here, 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 and up here. So the next step is to pull away this black panel. Now that the black panel is pulled away, we have access to pulling the gray top one away. Over here on the driver's side, you're gonna see our, our harness that's gonna be right here taped up to the other wires. We're gonna go ahead and pull it to release it from that tape. And then plug our wiring harness into it. Now that we have our harness plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and power it up, inserting a 10 amp fuse into the fuse holder. Now that everything's plugged in, our fuse is in, we're ready to clean everything up. We're gonna route our box to the back of the panel and run our four flat to the center of the vehicle. We can now go ahead and pop in all of our panels back into place. Before placing the cargo hook back into its place, you're gonna to wanna to push the white tabs in, locking it back into place. We'll go ahead and place our two rubber fasteners back into place. We'll go ahead and put our two screws for our handle back into place. and make sure we put the cover back on. Before putting back the scruff panel and the flooring, I'm gonna show you how to store your four flat wiring. There's two different options. You can leave it inside the cargo area and simply pull it out when you're ready to use it, or we can route it to the outside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to route it to the outside of the vehicle. So over here on the driver's side, we're gonna be using this rubber grommet to feed our wire to the outside of the vehicle. As you can see guys, the four flat doesn't fit through the hole, so we're gonna modify the wire to get it to the outside of the vehicle.
Now that we have the wiring on the outside of the vehicle, we can go ahead and reconnect our four flat wiring. We're gonna go ahead and clean up this excess wire by tucking it back behind the bumper. We're gonna go ahead and use the mounting place on the hitch. We're gonna be using a bracket. The kit does not come with the bracket, but you can pick one up at your local U-Haul. Go ahead and place our dust cover onto the four flat. And then secure the four flat into the bracket, making sure it clips in all the way. Now that the four flat is mounted, we can go ahead and put our cargo area back together. Now that we got your four flat wiring installed on your vehicle, you guys are now ready to hit the outdoors and pull a trailer. Thanks for watching guys, you guys have a great day and be safe. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.